Oh, hey, this is where we left off. <laughs> oh, man, that's great. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to fucking uh, Resident Evil 5, the Let's Challenge. The thing that I haven't touched in a month and a half or something. I don't even know. I'm your host, Let's Play Princess. In the last episode, uh, I think Irving? I think. No fucking clue. In this episode, I don't know. I'm trying to remember. Oh, oh why? Why the answers. fuck, game? Not game, sure. you are playing but natively honestly, on the actual the hardware. And that's never a good sign. You're on the real hardware. Why are you going First, so fucking slow, frame Jill. rate wise? This isn't emulated. This is actually on the fucking 360. I don't know why that was happening. It seems like it's starting to work again. Holy shit. Was Umbrella doing research on these flowers? Yeah, this is where- This- This evil fucking plant is what we call the progenitor virus. It is a special thing that you can mutate into 500 different fucking things of evil and death. Hashtag, kill and burn these plants forever. Genocide on this plant strain. That's not a joke. That's not a ha ha. I need them to do genocide on this entire plant. You ever see the movie The Ruins? That's what they need to do with this. Just burn it. This entire place, burn it. And all of the problems in the Resident Evil universe would go away. Hey, the C virus? No idea where it came from, but I'm pretty sure it came from Progenitor. The G virus? Progenitor. All the T? Progenitor. Afterwards, it gets a little confusing. I think everything from Biohazard or 7 Up has to do with some mold god thing. Uh oh, 1966. Mr. Spencer, oh man, once spoke of a flower called the Stairway to the Sun. Supposedly, this flower would give the person who consumed it incredible abilities. Everyone thought it was nothing but a bunch of bullshit that Mr. Spencer was telling us, but later research proved us wrong. Oh my god, that fucking, that fucking chef outfit. This would be so, so much more balanced if for, if I had Chris's heavy metal one, but I don't know why I have it locked. I've been in the game, I should have it. The first person to recognize the validity of that story was my teacher, Dr. James Marcus. He hypothesized that a virus, here too unknown, might exist that could alter DNA. This man was so prospicious. His hypothesis turned out to be correct. The virus discovered in the flower was labeled progenitor. For three months in Africa, we worked diligently, fretted over results, and staved off attacks from the Ndipaya. Ndipaya. After such time, our efforts were finally rewarded. Even Dr. Marcus, who until yesterday looked exhausted, was in good spirits. He wants to return home as soon as possible to delve deeper into his research. I feel the same way. I want to learn the secrets of this progenitor virus as soon as possible. 1967. Man, that's... A big gap between journal entries. We've hit the metaphorical brick wall. We brought the progenitor flower back from Africa and attempted to cultivate it here. The initial culture samples of the progenitor virus have not shown DNA altering characteristics. Yeah, that's because it's called the stairway of the sun. You gotta put it in the sun. We cultivated the flower to mass produce the progenitor virus. At first, everything proceeded smoothly. The plants were strong and grew quickly. In a short amount of time, they flowered. But here is when a major problem surfaced. The flowers did not contain the progenitor virus. Perhaps the environment in which they've grown triggers the development of the virus. This matter must be investigated further. We've made no progress. We tried cultivating the flower under different conditions, but with no luck in triggering development of the virus itself. Thus far, we have tried changing the soil, water, temperature, and a light exposure, all with no success. I got into a heated debate with Mark, uh, Dr. Marcus about the direction this research was taking. During the debate, Mr. Spencer injected some foolhardy notion of starting a company. Without the progenitor virus, there's no point in starting a company. Does he not see that? It's all bullshit! I want to start a company based off of a DNA-manipulating super virus. 
We're gonna act like a pharmaceutical company, but then we're actually just gonna be making biohazards. Good old bio dupes. Dupes. There we go. Get the money. Not that I need it. Uh oh. More journals. 1968. That does not look like a pen. That looks like a scalpel. Oh, no, it's starting to look like a pen. It's been over a year since we've had any breakthroughs. That's why Dr. Marcus and I have decided to return to Africa. We can no longer... I mean, you say you decided to return, but you left the journal... Okay. We can no longer continue our research without the progenitor virus. Not... No longer capitalized. I know those routine attacks by the Nidipaya are really going to wreck my nerves, but for the sake of our research, I will persevere. In the face of my foreseen dismay, it was Mr. Spencer provided the answer. If you're worried about the Ndapaya, we'll just have to remove them from the equation. I can only imagine the lo the look of shock on our faces. The idea never occurred to us. It was quite an atypical solution to our problem, but it seemed to be the only option available. Mr. Dr. Marcus and I decided to try Mr. Spencer's plan of killing a bunch of Af Af <laughs> fucking like <laughs> Spencer. What the fuck? <laughs> August 19th. Finally, some good news. We learned that they were able to chase the Nidipaya off their own fucking land. White people, take note. The land is acquired. <laughs> the land we acquired only amount to half of those underground ruins, but if it includes the area where the progenitor flower grows, again capitalized, then there should be no issue. I just love that Spencer's just like, well, this is the 60s. We, we're losing the battle at home in America. Let's take them out in their own fucking country. <laughs> Continent. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Roger Spencer said he plans to construct research facilities at the site, which will expedite our research into the virus. Yeah, sure, just take everybody's land. We hastily made our preparations to depart for Africa, but Mr. Spencer requested that Dr. Marcus stay in Raccoon City to take over the training center. We were initially taken aback by this request, but we soon realized it was the logical course of action. It's not. Dr. Marcus needs a calm environment to properly conduct his research. If he were in Africa, there would be no proper facility for him to use at that time. I just hope the African research facilities get built soon. So now I will go alone to Africa and send back samples of the progenitor virus to Dr. Marcus. Both Dr. Marcus and Mr. Spencer agreed this is the best course of action. I have to start making preparations to go. I have a feeling I'll be pretty busy starting tomorrow. September 29th. I've been in Africa for fucking two weeks now. It's a good thing Dr. Marcus isn't here. This place is far from being a paradise of research and scientific study. The so-called research facilities are nothing more than a bunch of tents, and we have to employ armed soldiers to keep them in Dubai at bay. But the thing that gets on my nerves the most is the sound of the construction for the real research facilities. How am I supposed to, con to concentrate on research when everything is threatening to drive me insane? I'm trying to just concentrate on extracting virus samples from the progenitor flower so I can send them to Dr. Marcus. Hopefully, if I focus on my work, I can remain sane in this godforsaken place. 69. Nice. June 15th. The research facilities are finally completed. This is the real Umbrella Africa Research Center, also known as... Ork! Not just some pile of tents. But I've come to a realization in the past nine months. The facilities are too small for our needs. We need to make them larger, more suitable for research. I think you can ask some people about making it larger. Then we can fill them with more talented researchers. This place needs to be our front line of our progenitor virus research. Our results will do a great service to Dr. Marcus and his viral research. In a rare turn of events, that old skin flint Spencer actually agreed with me on this. Maybe. Just maybe. Don't do stupid shit. Wait a minute. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just noticed I have never seen in the... T I don't think the last time I played, the little document things were on the mini map. When did those get patched in? Were those always there? 
Research Center Dr. Brandon's Journal, 1998. We close out on the Research Center. <coughs> it's strange, but I don't really care. I'm indifferent to the whole thing. I feel the same way as when I heard that the Arkley facility, the Spencer bad shit, and Raccoon City were destroyed. When did I become so apathetic? I spent every waking moment researching and extracting the progenitor virus. Everything I did was for Dr. Marcus. Actually, when I think about it, I probably stopped caring the day I heard he had died all those years ago. I didn't feel angry or happy or even shocked. I felt nothing at all. It's as if all my emotions just shut down. I just kept sending out samples of the progenitor virus all up on Burroughs Laboratories. <coughs> I was just... An automated machine reporting to the Umbrella Headquarters every time one of my subordinates made a breakthrough or discovered something new. Yo, we can fucking mess with fear shit in the person's brain and make a T-virus. Yo, let's mix it with a fucking flower. Yo, we got this other thing, this weird parasite that I don't think has ever been explained. Yo, shove that into Mr. X, see what happens. Oh shit, that thing grew a fucking purple tentacle. I was like a zombie ambling through life. No thoughts, no feelings. And now the research center where I've spent half my life is closed. I really don't care one way or another. It's probably all for the best. Perhaps it's too late to have any semblance of a life again. Yeah, buddy, you fucked that. You fucked bad. Telegram from James Marcus. T-Virus development of success, January 13th, 1978. And yet, it took 20 years for anybody to find anything about the place. Ah, hello, liquor. Invoice copy. Umbrella training facility, Dr. James Marcus, five cases of the progenitor sample, fucking Brandon Bailey. Woohoo. Wait. X is clo- oh, previous. I'm like, what the fuck? Mr. Liquor. Or such a shit or I don't know how, but they could be using them to produce biological weapons. This is true. This they is the could be from the picture, no doubt about it. Not anymore. Oh no, a tricell. Tricell research Miguel's journal number one february 19th of what year who fucking knows when i heard it was the laboratory used by umbrellica in africa umbrellica what the fuck my expectations were raised to say the least but when i saw it well it's a lab in name only i don't know how umbrella ever used it and lord knows a tri cell could possibly have any use for it the place was abandoned long ago so there's nothing there of any value to us not one piece of lab equipment remains, at least nothing that still works. Can't say I'm surprised because I have expected this. Anyway, the important thing is the progenitor virus. If we didn't need that virus for our research, there would have been no need to come to this run-down umbrella facility anyway. We already have samples of the T-virus, the G-virus, the fucking T-veronica, and even the loss of Lagos that's from Europe and... Man, no country in the world is allowed to just be safe. We have everything we need for our research. No joke. I, actually, you know what? South America's the only one because Dark Side Chronicles pretty much states that, yeah, he took T. Veronica, gave it to his daughter, but, but they didn't inherently have some crazy bullshit. But Las Plagas? Yeah, Europe is fucked. The, the mold? Yeah, Europe's more fucked. Africa? Yeah, we, we fucked up super bad with that one. So far, to my personal knowledge, Asia's completely safe of having some fuckery. South America's free of having some fuckery. In North America, yeah, they made the fuckery with the progenitor virus, but the progenitor virus is African. There's nothing going on in actual America. Either top or bottom. We have everything we need for our research. We just didn't have the damn progenitor virus. But we finally got our hands on it. 
Hopefully this will give us that much needed breakthrough in our research. I can't wait to start working on it. March 7th. I wonder who came up with the name Liquor for those things? I mean, when you see it, it's long time. You just know that's the perfect name. But for researchers like me, B.O.W.'s like liquors are just a pain in the ass. If I said liquors were too perfect, I'd probably be going too far in my praise. But they're pretty much an evolutionary dead end. There's no room left for improvement. A metal casing for their exposed brain. POWs that were created using the T-Virus don't seem to show that much improvement when the progenitor virus is administered. I mean, their ability shows some slight improvement. For example, their sense of smell seems more or less improved. But that's all we've got so far. They're still blind as an old lady. They're ugly as shit. The biggest jump in their evolution seems to be their ability to reproduce. I hear things don't go according to plan, but there's still a demand for liquors on the BOW market. I guess they aren't all that bad. Why? Why would you make it? Why would you do it? Fuck your flower. Fuck your flower on the planet and rode in on. I'm 50 minutes into this episode already and I've just been reading memos. Hey, I, uh, I know this is sudden, but I'm gonna be getting some time off soon. Uh, we've completed most of our work on the new project. Sorry, you know, I can't talk about work. Uh, so they've been giving us some time off as a reward for all of our hard work. All the staff are leaving tomorrow, and we're finally gonna be able to get out of this country. I'm heading straight back to Arizona. I can't wait to get home and see everyone. More than that, I think I'll just be happy to get away from... The High and Mighty Miguel. I think he's some kind of sort of super genius. Because a guy sits next to me at work and he's a good research and all, don't get me wrong. He's got some good ideas and is good at noticing details, but every time he opens his mouth, he just goes on and on about how great he is. <laughs> you can't even begin to imagine what torture it is to hear that day in and day out. I wish we made a set if I could get him. Ah, but forget all that. What matters is that I should be back home within the next few days. When I get back, I'll give you a call. We gotta go out and get smashed. I could use the break. Talk to you soon. Right. I don't think he made it. <gasps> oh. Oh no, there's problems. Remember, I am two feet away from this TV. The liquor pops out. But I just piss. Straight on the ground. <laughs> Don't do it, game. Hell yeah, you're not doing it? Good. Except I know that this is gonna happen. That hallway is gonna open up and I'm just gonna get fucked up. <laughs> Hello? Are you here, Lord? Oh, that's not the Lord. That isn't actually Careful. the devil. I saw something. Oh, I see. Come to me, my pride. Yeah, okay. I mean, as I say, we can play this game. Poor go. All right, liquor. Hey, how are you? It's been a while, buddy. Ah, crap! Break out, break out. Well, I mean... 
Could have gone better, could have gone worse. I owe you one. Always just keep them on the buttons. Always make sure they're on the buttons. Sheva, I'm gonna rotate this. You need to watch out for me. Hello? Don't grab it. I don't need it. Anything in here that we need? What is this? A rifle? <gasps> an AK! Well, it's a good thing that I don't need it. Also, it's an AK-74. You don't know if that's a real gun? I know if out of 47. You just flip the numbers around so you didn't get Thank a Thank God there were more of them. Yeah, we wouldn't last in a fight with a whole horde. Why would you say that? Do you know about the room that's a little bit before the Wesker battle? Do you know about this, Eva? Uh-oh. Right. I don't remember what the sliver does. Doesn't it drop me? Am I crazy? Don't I get dropped? I don't oh. think I notice this. Uh, well, Your don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something really stupid, but it's We're gonna be safe. funny. We should be as quiet as possible. Yeah, about that. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. I got this. Heal me. Heal me. I needed to know something like this is going to happen in like the end of this episode or the next episode. I needed to know if I could just do it now. It's fine. It's fine. What does that lever do anyway? Wait. Do I go back through and then they. I don't think I'm Is that what it was? No. Can I go back? No. Guys. Their senses are weak. I agree, Sheva. Uh huh. Yeah. Great. It's not. Damn it! They heard us. Yeah, no shit. They heard us. It's fine. Turn around. We got this. Hold on. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Java, move! To shoot them, to shoot them, to shoot them, Chef. Fuck it. God, fuck it. Go. You gotta heal me, oh my god. Be so much easier if this is with a person. But of course I don't get to have a person. No, 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 I get it. I... It's fine. It's actually truly fine.
Come on. Okay. I say that, but I think I actually need to wait for an hour later. I think that's a timed section. I don't think they notice us. So what I need to do? Their senses are weak. Just to be safe, we should be as quiet. I don't know what I need to do. I need to think this through. I think I need to end it. Oh, they were... What do you mean they heard us? What part did they fucking hear? Shiva, I didn't make noise. You're not wearing any clothes that could make noise. What the fuck? What happened? I'm not ready for this. So, Sheva, I need... I need... I need you to be just quiet as shit, okay? I don't know if it was your earrings. I don't know if it was the bows rattling in, in the, uh... I can't think of what it's called right their now. Their senses are weak. Quiver. Quiver? Just to Quiver. Be safe, we should be as quiet as possible. But I just need you to not. All right, excellent. Just do it. Damn it! They heard us. No, I understand they heard us. Fucking shut up. God damn it! Fucking do something, you stupid bitch. No! Fuck you! I don't help anybody! I could be doing an infinite rocket launcher. I could be doing an infinite magnum. Actually, no. I have problems with the infinite magnum. But no. No, 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 no. I chose infinite minigun thinking that it would work. But liquors? Liquors, I guess, is where it draws the line. So how am I going to do Wesker? Come on. Hell, okay. I want to know what that lever does. There must be some secret strategy with this, right? I don't think I know this. Yeah, yeah, I know. I don't either. I can't Just believe their it. senses are weak. Okay. Just to be safe. Do I have to deal with those ones as well, or is it just the ones here? How many are here? One, two, three. Oh crap! That's it's all one room. Yeah, it's all of them. I know, I know, I know. I just, I need you to shoot. Oh my god, Sheva, please. Turn around for me. Come on! Come on! God, this might actually work. No, shut up. Sheva, Sheva, Sheva. Sheva. Okay. Stop taking the fucking money. Come on. <laughs> Where are you putting it? Oh, 
shit. I forgot about this part. Fuck. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck a duck. Right, snipers, and people laying on the platform, and then giant bat bombs, right, right. This was in the pictures, too. Wait, I've made mistakes that means Jill might be with this challenge. I wanted to do this challenge for years, and I'm an idiot. I'm an actual moron. I mean, I could do this. Faith keep oh my god. Goodbye. What have they done? Better question, why did that one randomly open? Oh my god, Jill? Oh my god, Jill! Oh no! And she no age! And now she bloomed! No idea why she bloomed! I'm not excited for this part, There's by the so way. Must be kidnapping people from all over the world to experiment on. It stopped. Yeah. Of course it did. This Why? is either the boss or it's it's the boss. Oh, well, that's why. Giant bat spider thingy. You ate. You ate. Oh crap! Yeah. Okay. I don't remember your 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 attacks, sir. But if I can get you. Be happy. No way. He's down. Now the time. No way. No way.
First try, spider bat! Kiss my lily white ass! <laughs> I'm joking. There's nothing lily about it. Why? Because fuck As that shit. To to you. Pharmaceuticals are fucking stupid. So it was you. <laughs> Where is Jill? Jill? Even if I did know, you think I would tell you? Cut the crap. Off. Tell me where she is. As soon as you two are done with your little vigilante mission, you should leave. There's nothing here worth throwing your life away for. Done with your vigilante mission. Like what? She's lying. Exactly she is my mission. <laughs> oh, when you're done with this mission, the mission is to beat you. How are you that stupid that you don't realize my mission is to kick your fucking ass? <laughs> Twenty-nine fifty-nine. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I wanna do something. I don't know if it's gonna work the way I want it to, but I wanna do something. After I refill these guys and get the uh, the checkpoint going. So this right, was the so facility Excella was talking about. She's got us under cool. surveillance. No, no, no! Almost... Shut, shut up! <laughs> Hit start 15 times. He just doesn't stop fucking talking. You guys probably get annoyed by me talking so much. So I'm gonna check what the rest of my records are. All right, 19 minutes initially. Okay. Uh, 52 minutes. That's not exactly bueno. The ship is gonna be 31. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to end here so the next time can be the full rest of Chapter 5. I'm hoping. So next time on Let's Challenge Resident Evil 5, the professional mode, minigun or gatling gun, longbow run. Uh, yeah, going through some more ruins. Don't worry, there's going to be a lot more liquors and a lovely reunion that's probably not going to go the way you think it's going to go unless you've played this game, then you know what's going on. If you liked what you saw, you should like, comment, and subscribe. There's a Patreon in the description below. It helps with Mr. Kitty's meds, my meds, all that fun shit. If one dollar comes from everybody, that would be half of my paycheck each week. That would be absolutely fantastic. That would help with the bills. That will literally help with so much. Um... Twitch. I stream on Wednesdays. As of this current recording, you can find me still doing Siren. Once Siren is over, probably gonna jump over to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So that way it doesn't take three fucking years like the remake is doing. And you should follow me on Twitter so that way when I post polls of what I should do next, or I'm on podcast episodes, and I link the podcasts and shit, there it is. It's right there. That's how you get all my socials. I don't. I had a Facebook. I don't do it. Fucking. There, there's too many things. There's too many motherfuckers. I have two Discords. Like fucking. Used to have two Twitters. Now it's down to one. The fucking. There's, there's too much. I can't. My social media would just be a job by itself. I need to pay a motherfucker to just take care care of that for me. 
But yes, actually, you know what? Real quick. Before I end. If he can't have his costume, I'm switching hers. Cool. You're not having that. You're not having that. Let's just go base, okay? There it is. There we go. See, because I'm not allowed to have her... her. I don't know why I don't have her Little Red Riding Hood or his Heavy Metal on right now. I don't get it. I might just have to redo the last level real quick just to unlock them. Because I know you can get them. But whatever. That's for another time. I'm Let's Play Princess signing off. Peace and love to you all as always.